going on guys welcome back again so if you can't tell by the title today i'm going to be working on siamese twin number two uh you guys already know the chopper build which is right here guys uh that bike came out really really nice and now we're going to do the siamese twin to that which we're going to need very similar parts um actually on the blue bike that i already restored and if you haven't seen that make sure you guys go to my channel and check out that video that way you guys are caught up and know exactly what i'm talking about when i say siamese twin number two because i have two bikes identical to this so uh the seat on the first chopper which is already done was all torn up but the seat on this chopper was really good so all i did was just swap seats so this seat does need to be reupholstered because it is shredded. It's no good anymore. So, sorry guys, it's really hot over here. Very similar procedure to the first bike. We are gonna have to be painting. We are gonna be, have to be painting the body panels, painting the frame, and I don't know what else, um, to be honest. Um, uh, I know in the front we needed an axle. The axle that's on there is not the axle for the bike. Uh, I have no idea where that axle came from, but we will be swapping out the axle, which I already got a replacement axle for it, so which is perfect. Uh, also, the first chopper did not have brake pads inside the front hydraulic brake. Um, so I took them from this one. So we will be having to buy brake pads for this one, which I already bought a set, but they're wrong and then from there we're going to need fuel lines carburetor a battery and i don't think we need the hydraulic the front hydraulic brake handle but uh if i do i know i have a used replacement handle right there on the shelf next to the yellow bottle uh, i have a used replacement handle which is really good i actually ended up getting a pit bike a long time ago and it came with that handle but I already had a pair of foldable clutch handle and hydraulic brake handle for a pit bike. So I just put those on the bike and then I took off that hydraulic brake handle, which is still good. Uh, so we will be putting it on there if it's necessary. If not, we will be continuing to use the same one. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, pretty much the same, same similar exact procedure. This one is missing a couple of things from the handlebar section. Uh, it doesn't have any of the fittings to properly fit it. So either I will be looking for some or I will be getting something to work with what is on here. And it does not have the front fender. That's the only difference from this one to the to the other one. Other than that, everything else is identical to each other. So uh, I'm going to put you guys on the tripod. We're going to start working on this bike. We're going to take it all apart. We're going to wash it, clean it, make sure everything, all the dust is removed and it is ready and prepped for paint. Hang tight.
chopper right now and uh, I'm taking the entire pieces apart and washing the other pieces I already washed the fuel tank and all these other parts over here laying on the ground they've already been washed sanded and they're just drying right now so uh, they should be ready for primer and paint pretty here here pretty soon uh, this still needs to be cleaned as well as this but I'm just taking apart the motor just making sure you know I cycle through whatever it is that I have to cycle through and uh, one of the things I did notice, which is very, very important, when I bought these two choppers, I was told that one of them did not have spark. You guys, you guys already saw we built the other chopper, and that one has spark, no problem. So I figured, okay, you know what, this is going to be the one that has the problem with no spark. However, at first glance at this motor, I noticed a couple of things that are very important that you need to pay attention to whenever it is that you buy a mini bike. So as soon as I took this air filter off, I noticed this. No, not the spider webs. Forget about the spider webs. Look at the filter. Do you see how this filter is very, very clean? This filter looks like it almost was not used, right? Because look, it does not have a single speck of oil on, on it. You guys already know two cycle motors are very dirty they get dirty very quickly 
That's just how they are. You can tell by the plating. Look at the plating. It looks almost brand new. I saw the carburetor. Look at the carburetor. Yeah, beside the fact it looks frozen in time. Yeah, but it looks really, really, really good. So I figured, okay, you know what? Let's open it up. And when I opened it, look at the inside of this motor. It's almost brand new. Look at this clutch. It's almost new. And then look at the contact point right here. You see this contact point? This is like brand new, like hardly any scarring on the inside of the clutch. This is a very, very, very brand new motor. Now, lastly, as soon as I saw this, I was like, okay, this bike was not used very much. Look at the inside of this chamber right here. This is your exhaust chamber, which is usually black because of all the sud that comes out of it. You see, you see how it is almost spotless in there. It is immaculate. The, the piston in there looks, looks to be in extremely good condition. Check this out. Look at this piston right here, guys. It's like in brand new condition, pretty much. It's just very dusty. So we're gonna clean this motor up. We're gonna dust it down, we're gonna clean it up, and we're gonna reassemble it. And I have a really good feeling about this motor. It's in very good condition, guys. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I did uh, kind of catch this, so uh, it's not, common i build a lot of mini bikes guys a lot of mini bikes and it is not common to find motors that are like this in this condition it's almost like it's a brand new engine the outside yeah it looks like it was treated to weather true but the inside of it is just so perfect even the contact points right there they haven't even cleaned them yet and they're almost brand new guys so i just thought that was something real fun to share and uh I'm just gonna get back at it. Uh, I already cleaned almost all the body panels. I gotta clean and paint the frame and still clean and paint. I mean, stop, still clean and wash the rims and tires. So I'm gonna get back at it, guys. chopper build uh for this bike it's gonna be a it's gonna be a nice bike um it's like i said siamese twin number two um i will not be doing dark charcoal gray on this one i promise i know i've been doing charcoal gray on a couple of bikes but i promise i will not be doing that on this bike we'll actually be using a black frame with black accent with a color i have never painted body with i've painted a frame before this color uh but i've never painted an actual body so i guess we'll have to see what it looks like because it is a metallic color but i don't know what it's going to look like a lot of the times metallic looks really good in small spaces but when it's in a big portion it it's a little difficult because if you don't get the exact layout on paint the metallic looks all distorted it looks weird it doesn't look it doesn't look nice you know it almost kind of looks like tiger sprayed so um i'm hoping i'm hoping it comes out pretty good uh but you guys are gonna have to stick around and see uh on part two to this chopper uh as of right now i am looking for I already bought the carburetor, I already bought the fuel lines, I already bought the battery for it. Um, 
I already have everything I need in order to put it back together. But uh, I need front brake pads for this bike. Uh, and it's a hydraulic caliper. So uh, it's gonna be a little difficult to find it. I know I already ordered one set of brake pads and they were wrong. And they, I could have swore that those were my brake pads, but they were not, they were wrong. So uh, I'm gonna have to buckle down, get some measurements and make the proper purchase in size to the brake calipers I need because they don't sell brake calipers for choppers. Uh, so you kind of got to think about it. This caliper mostly goes on pit bikes and stuff like that. So maybe I could find it there, but I'd have to look in sizes and stuff. And I'm going to be getting a different bracket, different mounting bracket for the handlebars because the one that was on here was incomplete. It was, there was only one mounting point and yeah, I was going to make something, but I just figured I'd look for something. So, uh, it might take a little bit to get here because... Um, it's coming from China, so it might take a couple of weeks to get here. By the time you guys are most likely getting this, well, by the time you guys are most likely viewing this, there will most likely be another video up. Um, so don't worry, I'm trying to do this ahead of time so that you guys can not be waiting so long. But yeah, guys. So make sure you guys stick around for part two. We will be having a part two. We will be finishing up this chopper and I am still missing a front fender. So as of right now, no front fender may, 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 maybe in the future, we do have fun. We find one and uh, an offer up. We have found an offer up, a fender on offer up before for the other red chopper. And if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. It's really, really nice, I promise. So yeah, guys, I will catch you guys on the next one because I gotta get to work. I gotta get to work. Peace out guys. Thanks for joining me.